Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for January the 23rd, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. Today's First Word Farmer News Roundup is sponsored by Sedgedeem. In our top news story, according to sources, GlaxoSmithKline will eliminate around a thousand jobs in China this year, following a downturn in sales after a recent bribery scandal. One person said, in the first quarter, 450 employees will be cut, and the number will be higher in the second quarter. Also featured, the European Medicines Agency's Committee for Medicinal Products for Human Use recommended approval of Novo Nordisk's Saxenda for the treatment of obesity. The once-daily GLP-1 analogue was cleared for this indication in the US in December. In other news, an FDA advisory committee voted unanimously to back approval of Astellas and Bacillia Pharmaceuticas Crisemba to treat invasive aspergillosis. The panel also voted 8-2, to two, with one abstention, to recommend approval of the broad-spectrum antibiotic for use against invasive mucormycosis. In addition, GlaxoSmithKline shipped the first batch of its experimental Ebola vaccine to Liberia ahead of Phase 3 studies, which were expected to begin in the coming weeks. Monsef Slawi, chairman of Global Vaccines at the company, said the news shows that we remain on track with the accelerated development of our candidate Ebola vaccine. And finally, Novartis agreed to sell global rights to the experimental BRAF inhibitor Encorafenib to Array Biopharma for an undisclosed sum. The deal is subject to the completion of a previously announced asset swap between Novartis and GlaxoSmithKline, which is expected to close in the first half of this year. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Take a look at us now, the new mobile intelligence. Performing better together.